Hello, beautiful people. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Um, I'm back today with another marketing idea, insight, or implementation tip. Today's a bit more of an insight. And what I want to do is just get you thinking about some of the different learning types and personality types of your customers and potential customers. And this is really important because I think it's just human nature to go through life thinking people are kind of like me and this is the way I like information presented. So I'm, you know, you assume that other people like to receive um, information and do things the way you like to do them. I mean, I think that's just the way the way we're wired is to think that other people think similar to us. But of course, they don't. There's all different kinds of learning styles and customer types. This morning, I was at the orthodontist. And this is something that has dragged on and on um, through no fault of theirs. But I'm a bit frustrated with the whole process. And um, they said, you know, okay, we need to do this again. We need to order yet more teeth aligners, even though I'm six months past when I was supposed to be done. And I was like, okay, like I kind of knew that was coming. I expect that at this point. And she said, but the good news is we don't have to do a full scan. We're just going to do these impressions. So I was like, cool, that, that works for me. I know those take less time. They're a little more uncomfortable, but they take less time. So she did the impressions. And then she comes back and she said, they didn't work. You have to go get a scan, go sit over there. Well, I was like, you know what? That is not how I want to be treated, right? Um, like explain my options to me. I'm somebody who wants to know. I want to know all of my options. I want to know the cheapest option. I want to know the mid price option. I want to know the VIP option. I want to know why these are the options. I'm somebody that um, I don't know that I'm indecisive, but I just want the information. I'm somebody who likes to get all the information, have a think about things, and then come back and I may buy, you know, the mid range package or the full package or, or whatever. But I just like to feel like the decision is in my hands. And so I know that there are probably other options besides doing the scan. I said, can you just try the impression again if it didn't work. And she was like, oh, yeah, we could, but it, you know, it was really painful for you because um, there's all this metal like digging into the bottom of my mouth. And, but I'm like, but I want to have that choice and I want to know what all the choices are. If I need the scan, okay, that's great, but do I have to do it today, right now? So anyway, I'm going back at 4 30 for it because I actually just left. I was so annoyed. I just got in my car and left. Um, and that is, you know, if it wasn't something that I had already paid for and I was already committed to, that would be a way to kind of, you know, lose me as a customer is to not explain all my options and give me the information that I wanted. I would probably just drift off and go find somebody that did explain all my options and, um, and everything. So it got me thinking about the different learning styles as far as the marketing content that we create. So we're going to have people that are going to learn about our business visually. So that's why we, you know, putting out photos, people really like to see photos of your actual products, um, images of what they're going to receive. If you're selling digital products, if you have an office space, people love to see photos of your office and your setup and things like that. Um, people, you know, receiving a massage if you do hands-on work or something like that. So Fizz, we've got the visual learners and then we've got people that are listening, the auditory learners. And so that's where we can do like a voiceover on a video or a reel. Um, We've got kinesthetic learners. I'm trying to figure out how you would market to somebody kinesthetically. Um, but that, you know, a lot of that could be showing up and doing events. Um, there may be people that, you know, don't want to 
order my buy my book until they meet me at an event and hold it in their hands. And they're like, yeah, I love this book. It feels good. You know, so that's another thing, just showing up in person at events, doing a little bit of chair massage or, um, you know, doing a live stream like this and having somebody actually do an activity, right? Or something like that. So there's all different kinds of ways. And so think about this, you know, if you're in a business where you give any kind of presentation or um, teach, you know, you want to think through these different learning styles so you can be sure to hit on all of them so that you can be attracting your ideal clients. And just like I talked about in my live stream the other day, that there's different jobs that your marketing content that you put out there is doing and it doesn't all get immediate results. We can also feel like, okay, well, this piece of content is reaching this group of people and this piece of content, maybe a written piece of content is reaching the people that learn through reading and writing. Um, you know, and then we've got people that are impulsive and then we've got other people, you know, like myself that need to take it all in and process and feel like we've made that logical decision. Um, you know, and there's just those different customer types. So we've got customers that are price sensitive and that will be their main concern. And then we've got their customers who they don't want to hear about the price at all. They could care less. They're VIPs and price is no object for them. But we want to be able to reach both of those people. So we can say, like, you can book here or you can go here and learn more and get all the information. So we want to make sure that we're giving people what they need. Um, through both our marketing activities and our customer service once they're already our customers. Um, we've got people that are indecisive and people that are very busy. So those are people that may need a little bit of extra follow-up or they may need more information and follow-up. So, you know, like I have a great chiropractor who, if I don't rebook when I leave, she sends an email to encourage me to rebook. But then I thought, and I'm going to make this suggestion to her. I thought, you know, that email can easily get lost in my inbox. And then it's three weeks later and my back is out and I'm trying to get in where if that email would just come pop up every three to seven days until I booked, that would help me. That would keep me on track. So, you know, so thinking about those things, because we often assume that people aren't doing things because they don't want to. And if they wanted to um, take action, <laughs> they would do that. But life is so busy and there are so many distractions that, you know, that's something we can do that helps people is to keep popping up. Hey, don't forget about me. Um, like, just like I'm doing right now in my daily videos, right? Um, we've got people that are tech savvy. And people that are less tech savvy. So, you know, tech savvy people are going to be like, cool, I got this. I'm going to go book. But people that are less tech savvy, you know, they might want to call you. They might feel more comfortable with that. Or they might just need a little bit more instruction and reassurance. So here's how you book. You click this link and then you're going to need to, you know, input this type of information and then click confirm and just kind of giving a little bit more instruction can often help people like cross that bridge and go ahead and use um, whatever your checkout or, or booking software is. Um, so, you know, so just something to think about as you go through your, your week and your month and you're putting your stuff out there, like, am I serving? all of these different customer types. You know, am I serving my busy people and my really organized people that, you know, aren't overwhelmed, <laughs> which, um, you know, there are people that are also really consistent and they, oh shoot, let me, let me get that off the list too. You've got people that are um, just your really loyal customers that are just always going to be there. So, you know, how can you reward those loyal customers? Um, and, and let them know how much you appreciate them. And also, 
ask them for referrals. So, you know, there's one thing always leads to the next when we're talking about marketing. So um, I want to encourage you if you're ready to kind of dive deeper into all of these things and implement in your business um, in a big way over the next month to check out the Money Maker Challenge. And so what that challenge is, is you'll set a goal for doing a certain number of sales activities per day, per week, whatever your goal is. My suggested goal is 10 marketing activities per day on your work days. So this doesn't mean we're not taking a day off. You can do an extra push if you're like, you know what, I'm just gonna go all in. I wanna do 30 days that you're welcome to do that as well. Um, but we're gonna do, do more marketing activities, more different types of marketing activities, which again is going to serve different people that you're marketing to, different customer types um different learning styles and your marketing activities are also going to do different things in your business so some are going to raise awareness about your brand some are going to reactivate customers that have maybe fallen off your list some are going to get new New, you know, new people to take action. Some are going to maybe build your email list of people that are thinking about taking action. So your different marketing activities do different things. I did a whole video on that the other day. So check that out on my page as well. Um, I think you'll really like it. And the marketing challenge, we're gonna combine these things, doing more things, doing new and different things, being very, very consistent, as well as um, learning about different aspects of marketing and mindset as we go. I did decide on my four weekly modules um, for our, our extra trainings. We have our kickoff training is Wednesday at, I think it's at 2 p.m. I have to check my sales page. I think it's Wednesday at 2 p.m. If you miss it, that is not a worry. You can listen to or watch the replay um, at any time. And then we will have four live Q and A's and we will have four other modules. And I'm going to share how I do 10 sales activities in 60 minutes because sales activities are one of those things that you know will expand to take up the time that you let them, or you can set a timer and get them done and be done with that, right? So. Um, 60 minutes a day. If you don't think you have 60 minutes a day to invest in your sales activities, pick up your phone and check your screen time settings and see how much time you're spending staring at this thing. And I bet you anything, you'll find your 60 minutes right there. Um, <laughs> if you also need more help finding time to work on your marketing and your business and your sales activities, uh, you can grab my free ebook on decluttering your schedule. It's on the homepage of my website at elevatewithgail.com. Um, so the second training that I'm going to do is a Canva training and just a basic how to make some templates, how to get your branding colors and everything into Canva so that you can make marketing content quickly and easily. Canva is so easy to use. You're going to love it. And if you just know how to make a few simple things and how to take advantage of their templates, then you can start, you know, making is sitting down um, and using those templates to make your content either weekly, daily, monthly, depending on how you like to do your work. Um, I'm going to also talk about reusing and repurposing your content. So, you know, all of that content that you create in Canva or videos or written content, you know, how to organize that so you can reuse it and even get more marketing out there faster and even more consistently. And having that like pre-scheduled going out there in a way that you know, you have 10 marketing activities going on a day, but maybe you're only personally having to action two or three of them. Um, 
So, and then we're also going to talk about some evergreen marketing activities. So things that are working for you all the time that you don't have to give daily or even weekly or monthly attention to, like they're kind of set it and forget it type of marketing activities. And so once you start getting those done and then layering on daily sales activities, that's when you're really reaching um, a lot more people. So anyway, that is what I have to say about that. I hope you will check out the um, Money Maker Challenge. The price is going up when the challenge starts tomorrow. So you can still get the early bird discount. It is only $39 and tomorrow it will be $99. So go ahead and get in there today. Um, a full month challenge. Check out the bonuses on the sales page. You do not want to miss this. I will see you there and have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.